What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovresitz from Pixel Feed here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom audience with email lists for Facebook ads. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So one of the most powerful audiences that you can create in Facebook, it's going to be a custom audience created from an email list. Let me explain. So the email list, I always tell you guys, the money's on the list. And why is that? Because people who opt in into your email list, whether it's through your store or through your funnel, they're people that are interested in your products, whether they buy them or not. And the cool thing about email lists is that we can segment those lists depending on what kind of actions these people take. The other good thing about it is, is that it is first party data. And in a world where iOS 14 is about to hit, all of that data is going to be blocked back to Facebook. So if we upload this list ourselves to Facebook and create a custom audience out of it, Facebook's gonna match about 40% of that data to their users, and it's gonna give us a very, very powerful audience. Because remember, the ultimate objective is not gonna be passed back to Facebook with the customer's information. That information is gonna be blocked if it's coming from an iPhone and Google's gonna start doing it soon on their phones as well. So you gotta make sure you did do this the correct way. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that and give you some ideas of the type of segmentations and the type of custom audience you can create out of an email list. So this is just a uh, test account that I have in here so I can show you guys how to do so. So every time you have a store or if you use ClickFunnels or if you use ActiveCampaign, any of those responders, you can actually go in there and download all of your customer data. On some of them, you can even download the list which, with how much money they spent on your products or your services. This is what we like to call an LTV value, lifetime value per customer. If you can add that to your list, even better. So when you download the list, it looks like something like this. And obviously this is gonna be blurred out because I can't give away the customer you know, sensitive information. This is one of my lists. But if we open this up, it's gonna be you know, email, the value of that customer, meaning how much they spent with you, when was the order done, the customer name, first name, and, and last name. Usually you wanna split this between first and last name, and you'll see why in a minute. Then their address, the city that they live in, the zip code, state, some of them will even give you the country, the region, uh, and their phone number. The more data that you can ask for those clients and those customers, the better, because it's easier for Facebook to grab that data and match it to their users and the platform, which once you create your custom audience, this is how we're going to create some very powerful lookalike audiences that we can use for our ads and guarantee returns on those campaigns. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to close this right here and we're going to go to our business tools from the account and you're gonna to go to uh, audiences. I'm gonna open that tab, and it's gonna open this tab right here for your audiences. And it's gonna, we're gonna click create custom audience. This is a test account, so you're not gonna see anything in there. And then you're gonna go in here, and you're gonna click on customer list. Click next, and then you're gonna get this menu right here. Now, if you're using something like MailChimp, you can actually, import the list directly from MailChimp onto Facebook. Uh, there's a template that they can provide. So if you need a template, you can download the template. It's gonna take it to you here, example, value base, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So you open that up and it gives you the template. So this is basically what I was showing you, how it breaks it down. So email, uh, phone number, I don't know why they have duplicates on there, but you know, uh, zip code, country, date of birth, you know, user ID, that's the Facebook user ID and the value, right? So this is how you can see the breakdown uh, if you need a template. So the other thing that you can see, is see the formatting guidelines, you can go in there, we'll give you ideas on different, you know, formatting, how you can format the list and all that good stuff, right? And here, if you're a newbie, it breaks it all down for you if you're trying to learn. So email, phone, what, you know, what's the mobile advertiser ID, Facebook app user ID, all that stuff. But usually when you're using like Shopify, ClickFunnels and all that stuff, it's gonna do it automatically for you. So you don't have to worry too much about this. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So where well, you can get information if you need it. So when you go in here, it, it's asking you to include at least one of the main identifiers of your list to be able to create this audience. So here's uh, all the options that we were talking about. And the more you include, the better Facebook can match that data to their database from your list, okay? So that's the preparation side of things. The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna click next. 
It's going to ask if you have a value. Remember how I just showed you in the list where we have a value? So you have a lifetime value per client, you're going to select yes. If you do not have a lifetime value per client, you're going to select no. Okay. In this case, I'm going to do no. So now we're going to click next. And this prompt is going to come up and it's going to ask you to upload the file. So we're going to do just that. So we're going to go right here. Oops. And we're going to go list, 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 list. Where is it? There it is. I'm going to click on my list. And it's going to upload the, the list for me. So we added description. So we can call this customer list. Oops. I always do that with you guys. Customer list Feb 2021. Right? And you can add a description if you want to. Just click that and add a description. And we're going to click next. And then you're going to see this. So Facebook automatically when you when you upload the list if it recognizes uh what's supposed to be there it's going to pick it up automatically so you can see the little green check mark right here and you have email so it picked up my emails it picked up my zip postal code and it picked up my phone numbers but if you look up here it says action needed and it's telling me that i there's eight actions that i still need to make this list work so we're going to go in here and click on action needed and then it's going to show you the columns that weren't set up automatically. OK, so in this case, we have order ID, data processing options, value. I didn't use value, but it's because it's not letting you do value right now because of the iOS 14 updates. But you're going to be able to do it again in a very short time. And then the order time, customer name, address, city. Um, you can't put the address, so but you can do city. So I will choose the city right here. And now it's mapped automatically as you can see and then you can do uh the state or province right if you have the country then you add the country and so on and so on and so on okay so then we're going to click import and create and your audience is going to appear right here so what can i do with this audience one i like to use just a list when i upload it like if it's not uh shared straight from clavio like a service like clavio i upload my master list and then i retarget these people in the middle of my funnel using just the custom audience that's it so i update the audience every month and when i'm running ads i run an ad just to this custom list uh custom audience now it takes about 24 hours to, for this to populate so you're not going to get a number but the actual match rate is usually about 40 percent with facebook meaning that out of all the people that you have on that list, Facebook's going to match around 40%, depending on the information that they have. Because you got to remember, some people still have their email, old email addresses or old, fo or, uh, old phone numbers and stuff like that on their profiles, even though Facebook's pretty good about knowing that, uh, that data. So what do we do from here? Well, we, we can create our, our lookalike audiences, which, which are very powerful, right? So we can start with just a basic lookalike of this main master list. So let's say this is our master list and we can create a lookalike. So we will go in here and for example, on this account, they already removed the location. So you don't have to worry about the location and we can do 1%, 2% and so on and so on and so on. So let's say for this example, I want to do a whole 10%. I will just click create audience and it's going to create my lookalike. So now picture that that's my master list. Well, how advanced can we get with this? If you know how to segment your list, you can segment people by the state that they live in, the country that they live in, how much they spent in your store, meaning you can create a list of people who spent $50 average order value, $100 average order value, $500 average value. You can create another master list of people who bought two or three times from you in a span of six months. You can create another master list of people who bought from you in the first month multiple times. I mean, the options are endless of what you can do with, your, with these lists. And you have to remember that this is first party data. So it's going to be more accurate than you trying to create an audience right off the pixel. So get creative with it. You can do it for uh, segmentation based on products. Uh, and I mean, the list goes on and on. You can get so creative with it. anything you can think of. Just segment your list and then create a list about it, create lookalikes. And then those are different audiences that you can use to scale your campaigns and get more sales. So how do we use our list? Well, you go back to your ad account, right? You create a campaign. I'm just going to name this something random because who cares, right? Continue. And then we're going to name it. And then when you go into your ad set level, you're going to go in here, custom audiences, and guess what? 
your list is going to be there, your lookalike and your custom list. So if I'm retargeting middle of the funnel, I just use the list by itself. If I want to target as a lookalike, then I just grab my lookalike. Remember, get creative with it. Test it out. Do a lot of campaigns and see what happens. Get some sales. Guys, if you liked that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel. If you have questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. And if you want to keep learning about digital marketing, Facebook ads, and digital media in general, make sure to check out one of the videos right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.